The Thoburn Excellence in Teaching Award was created and endowed by one of the area's premier educators and philanthropists, the late Dr. Tina Thoburn and her husband. Nominations for this award are made by St. Vincent College alumni five to seven years after graduation. Alumni are invited to name one member of the faculty who, looking back, had made a significant impact on them through their teaching and personal interactions. This year, the prestigious Thoburn Award recognizes the talents and contributions of Dr. Bradley Watson, chairperson and professor of politics, and the Philip M. McKenna Chair of American and Western Political Thought. I ask Dr. Watson to please come forward. Dr. Watson earned a bachelor's degree from the University of British Columbia, a law degree from Queen's University Faculty of Law, Masters of Arts from Claremont Graduate University, Masters of Philosophy from the Institute of Philosophy of Catholic University of Louvain, and his PhD from Claremont University. Dr. Watson has taught at St. Vincent College for 12 years. Dr. Watson has an exceptional record of scholarship. He is the author of several books and dozens of articles, both in scholarly journals and some mass media outlets. He is a leader among the faculty, serving on the Rank and Tenure Committee and chairing the Politics Department. But today, we recognize Dr. Watson for the profound impact he has on his students. Committed to providing the best educational experience possible, Dr. Watson insists that students not only read, but truly engage the essential ideas and the great books that provide the foundation of our culture and our nation. In one of his nomination letters, a recent alum states, through wit, creativity, and a fantastic presence in the classroom, Dr. Watson makes his students passionate about political philosophy. Another former student wrote, Dr. Watson embodies the Benedictine Catholic tradition and the motto of the college, knowledge vindicates truth and justice. Finally, one former student wrote, well beyond teaching me what Thomas Jefferson wrote in some obscure pamphlet, Dr. Watson gave me the skills and instilled the passion to seek truth everywhere. Dr. Watson, for your outstanding teaching and service to the students of St. Vincent College, it is my pleasure to present you the 2011 Thoburn Excellence in Teaching Award. Dr. Smetanka, I want to take a very brief moment. I'm uh, used to teaching in 75-minute uh, blocks, so it won't be more than that. Uh, a very brief moment to offer a formal uh, word of thanks for this award and to note that I surely don't deserve it. All I do in the classroom, all I've ever done is allow the great books of Western civilization uh, and the great political writings of the American tradition to do the teaching. I do this because each great book or great political thinker is infinitely instructive, fascinating, complex, and mysterious. Plato, Augustine, Aquinas, Locke, Jefferson, Madison, Lincoln, and others of their stature. Each is the tip of a vast iceberg of learning. Whenever a diligent student reads them, 
he or she recognizes that they speak directly not only to their own times, but to our times and to all time. Such a student is drawn into the conversation among the greatest minds that our civilization has produced. Calvin Coolidge, one of America's most reflective presidents, said, great men are the ambassadors of providence, sent to reveal to their fellow men their unknown selves. They come and go, in part mystery, in part the simplest of all experience, the compelling influence of the truth. I merely serve to effect the introduction of students to these ambassadors, to present their papers, as it were. Coolidge reminds us that it's God who appoints them, and for that, as for all good things, it is to God that we owe our thanks. A teacher, Henry Adams remarked, affects eternity. He can never know where his influence stops. Well, of eternity, only God knows. But I'm more than humbled that, at least a few years on, my former students, alums of this great college, look back on my teaching with fondness, and more importantly, they think they've learned something significant. But in the end, it's those writers of the great books, those political philosophers and statesmen, who deserve this award more than I. For I remain a student of them as much as my own students are. Once you walk with Socrates along the city walls of Athens, or reflect with Lincoln on just what he claimed our fathers brought forth fourscore and seven years ago, you can't stop thinking. I'm in continuing ed, and always will be, and I hope that my students will be too. I offer hearty congratulations to all the students here today and to their families. Thank you.